Tinibu exposed. As USA Chicago court insists, this is not a mistake. FBI swings into action as who they in and Atiku Abubakar wins. Breaking news. Hello, people. Welcome back once again to this particular channel. You know, I must tell you for the fact that, uh, that Atiku Abubakar and uh, and uh, David Udi, who is the uh, who is an independent investigative journalist we have in this particular country, they are actually winning this particular battle. They are actually winning this particular battle. I'm Tinibu have started begging uh, in, in, in the United States uh, Chicago court for them to you know have mercy upon him. You know he's thinking that this is the election petition tribunal uh, uh, in Nigeria. Whereby we saw Justice Samani say that uh, Nigerians should forgive uh, 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 his uh, vice president being uh, Shetima over his double nomination. Justice Samani discovered that uh, Shetima was nominated double in, 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 was nominated two times for different political positions. But instead of him to disqualify uh, him and Tinibu because of uh, breaching with what the Electoral Act and the Constitution of Nigeria said. He said Nigeria should forgive that it wasn't inten the intention of Shetima to be uh, nominated into uh, two double po political positions, you know. And this is what Tinibu thinks that the, uh, that the Chicago State Court will do, thinking that this is Nigeria, without knowing that this is a place or a country where rule of law is actually preserved. I must tell you for the fact, you know, uh, Look at what uh, a, a recent information we got said that President Bolatini was executing the screen on uh, Monday begged a federal judge in the United States to uh, to ignore records that suggested that the person who was admitted into Chicago State University in the 1970s was a female, saying his Nigerian political rival Atiku Abubaka was trying to sandbag him in the ongoing case over academic documents. You can see Tinibu is begging the Chicago State Court to quash and throw away Atiku Abubaka's case. That he is a female. That the, that it was a female that actually got admission into the uh, Chicago State University. You know, Tinibu is very very funny. He thinks that Atiku Abubakar is just trying to blackmail him without knowing that the the same said uh, evidence, uh, the same uh, thing that he's saying. Atiku Abubakar has an evidence, and the document was actually obtained from Chicago State University. That the uh, transcript of one Bola Ahmed Tinibu that attended uh, one Dali College in the United States. Is a female, and it was this particular transcript that Tinibu claimed that he used to obtain admission in Chicago State University. So how can you use a certificate or a transcript of somebody who uh, that is a female to obtain admission and without being questioned by the university? Now Tinibu is, is, is saying that uh, that Atiku Abaka wants to blackmail him, but it's practically a lie. It's practically a lie. And if you all remember yesterday, you know, uh, uh, David Uday, who is a popular journalist we have in the country, you know, succeeded in his case in exposing the personality and who Tribu truly is. You know, he filed a case against FBI, uh, uh, the State House, and the presidency of the United States. And at the end of the day, you know, FBI decided to release Tribu's 2,500 uh, criminal records that they have against him. You know, uh, FBI initially stated that, that they are going to release this document in 2026, and it's, it's, it's too far. But they later made a U-turn after David Houdini and his uh, firm actually pushed further. And they decided, as a matter of fact, to release this document starting from October. That they are going to be releasing it, releasing it uh, month by month, 500 pages of whatever records they have on Tribu, you know, 500 pages each month starting uh, uh, at the end of uh, October. And this is going to go a long way in exposing the identity theft and the certificate forgery of Bala Ahmed there, Tribu. Because there is every possibility that somebody's identity was stolen. You know, part of the uh, uh, record that these people are going to release is his travel visa, the first visa that he used to travel, the name that was on it, and probably his whereabouts and every activity that Bolatini actually committed, both even his drug-related activities in Chicago State, uh, State and uh, in Illinois State, that everything will definitely be reviewed and exposed in these uh, 2,500 records that will be released by FBI being the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Now, people should know, as a matter of fact, that look at what at this uh, uh, David Houdin and Atiku Abaka are actually working almost on a similar case. Because Atiku Abaka's uh, case about obtain, obtaining a, forged, uh, a fake certificate from Chicago State is going to go a long way to review who was this particular female Bolatinibu and the, the, the evidence that FBI is going to give to David Houdini will actually you know, go a long way to tell us at what point did Tinibu change to a female, at what point did he even uh, you know, uh, get admission in social university, whether he even attended the Dallas uh, College. 
where he actually obtained a transcript of a female that he used to obtain admission or get again admission in at the Chicago State uh, University. So a whole, a whole lot of things will definitely be exposed. Now people should know that part of the things that I took about is asking is that, for instance, at least two different as you can see on the screen, at least two different certificates issued by the school in Mr. Tinibu's name are in public domain. One was issued directly to Mr. Tinibu, while the other was issued to a Nigerian lawyer who obtained a subpoena for the records last year. Now the one given to Mr. Tinibu said he graduated on June 2022, um, on June 22nd, 1979, having been admitted in 1977. Why the one issued to the Nigerian lawyer Mike and Ahoro carried June 27, 1979. So how is it possible that a, a, a university will issue a certificate of a particular person and they have different dates of graduation, different dates that they started, uh, that the person resumed academic activity and the different date that he graduated. These are the discrepancies that Atuka Abaka is trying to unravel. Now, still, additional records of admission submitted by CSU under the, two, under the 2022 subpoena show that a certain Bolatini who was admitted to CSU at also in the same 1977 presented a Southwest College resort belonging to a female. Now, this is we are Tinibu, you know, started begging uh, the court to quash and throw away Atuka Abaka's case that uh, for Atuka Abaka to accuse him that he, he is a female, probably he gave a female. He used the female certificate to get admission. It's not uh, substantial, you know. But he forgot, as a matter of fact, that Atuka Abaka obtained this certificate or this document or this transcript from Chicago State University records. Because, you know, a lot of us don't know that we can easily go in and subpoena somebody's a public servant's record and the school will easily give it to you. So it was a school that it, it was Chicago State University that brought out this transcript that had the sex or the gender of that particular person as a female. So, but Mr. Tinibu's lawyer noticing the controversy surrounding the Southwest College, that is the college where Tinibu uh, identified as a female, recorded uh, of uh, this in controversy, the Southwest College record generated around Mr. Tinibu's identity, told the court that it was a conspiracy theory and not the fault of the Nigerian leader, without mentioning that the suggestions actually came from CSU records for Mr. Tinibu. You know, they are trying to, you know, uh, make this particular case inconsequential. They are saying that it was not Tinibu's fault that uh, that uh, uh, a transcript bore the name of uh, of a female that Atika Abaka, that all these things are conspiracy theories. You know, I love one, there's one thing I love, I love about the United States because you can't call this thing a conspiracy theory when the evidences and proofs are there. The transcript that was actually obtained from the Chicago State University has the, the, the gender as a female. So you can't call it so, uh, a conspiracy theory. There's no way the court will not rule in favor of Atika Abaka and definitely Chicago State University will definitely release all the documents and evidences that they have against this particular man, being Bola Ahmed Tinebu. And when, at the end of the day, when David Houdin, being the investigative journalist who have this country gets a hold of the 2,500 copies of these particular pages of uh, uh, criminal records in the USA, then everything will definitely be exposed. How we stole the identity of the, the true Bolatini, who was a female, and the, the, the controversy surrounding the dates of his graduation, everything will definitely be exposed. Well, I'll keep you guys posted concerning this entire development.